Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about that money. And I know a lot of you guys like to hear about that money. Well, pretty much all of you do. I know I do. All things money, honey. If you're talking about it, I am most definitely listening. Well, today's video, we're going to talk about how I managed to make over $4,700 in only a month doing simple field inspections. And I know you guys are wondering how in the world I did that. Well, most of you who are already subscribed to my channel, you already know the types of jobs that I've been doing, the companies that I had already signed up for. And before we even get into that, let me just go on ahead and just let you guys know who are not aware of what's going on and are new to this, this actual channel. Bam. You see it? National Field Services Directory. Okay. So this came from SoFi. S-O-F-I. Google it. SoFi. Get your book. If you haven't gotten a book, get your book, okay? If you need a resume, get your resume too. He will most definitely do a resume for you too. His name is Richard Law, and he will handle your resume. Okay, so now back to what we're talking about. How did I manage to make over 4,700 bucks in one month? All right, so you already know that I was working for NRS. A lot of you know it. A lot of you have started working for NRS. A lot of you have started working for third party through NRS. I know you're there. I know all of you who are, you know, congratulations. We ain't going to call no names. Congratulations to you guys. You guys already know I was working with Millennium too. Okay, so let's just go into a deep discussion and t talk about how this all worked out for me. All right. So, Millennium and NRS were the main ones. NRS was already sending me work for construction through the third party as well as every now and then anyway, okay? So then I had two other companies that I had got in a contract with, but one of them was for letter delivery. You guys know about that one. If you're following me, I had to cut them short because uh, I just was not feeling it long story short let's just kill it okay so then i had another one that was a letter delivery as well i haven't cut them loose but it's for businesses instead of homes which is why i haven't but they don't never give much work so they're like sitting in the shelf way in the back you know the stuff we put in our closet and we put all the way to the back because we uh don't never use it and we seem to forget it anyway it's just back there lost <laughs> and one day we run across it when we're doing our spring cleaning that's where it is Okay, so then after that, I had another company that reached out to me, okay? And then let me just go ahead and tell you guys this off, off the bat, so because I don't want you to think that I'm holding anything back because I'm not. It's just that I'm not trying to get into an entanglement with the privacy clauses of this company, okay? And this company is for construction that I'm working for. And if you've been seeing me on some of my videos lately, you've been seeing me out and about doing construction work, Okay. But they are one of those that say no phone calls, no email type of deal. And so until I know for a fact that I can let them out of the bag, I'm going to have to keep them in the bag. But just momentarily, hopefully I'm going to figure out a way. And if I can, you guys know I'm going to bring it back to you strong, strong, strong and be ready to get that information when I come with it. Okay. But in the meantime, they contacted me out of the blue, asked me what I do, one or two constructions for them. And since I had already been dibble dabbling a little bit in it, I said, okay, I will. And since I said that, they decided to give them to me. And as soon as I did them, the next thing I know, they were asking me what I like to sign on. And I was like, sure. Or why not? The money was great. So they turned around and signed me up. We got all the little paperwork and all the doctor signs done. And I became contractor through this company. Okay. Then after that, there were two other companies that contacted me through email. All, both of them were attached. Okay. They were attached together in one email that was forwarded to me through who? Richard Law. They were forwarded to me through Richard Law is because... They saw my resume and they were they were responding to my resume and sending it back to Richard. So you want to know why is it going to Richard? Because remember, Richard also do uh, email blasts and I paid for an email blast. So these people were actually seeing my resume even though I might not have even actually applied for them. As a matter of fact, one of them I know for sure is not even in this book, but they came through the email blast. So there you have it. I started off with three. One, two, three, 
four, five. I cut one loose and I got one on the back burner. So I'm really just working with three. And then I just signed a contract this past week. This past week, the beginning of the week with one, and I finished filling out my paperwork, and I'm going through some um, videos and stuff now as we speak for the, the the second one. So now I'm signed to five full workload worth of contracts, and I say that because these are five that will actually be giving me work all the time. So now let's talk about it, because I know you guys are like this girl. How did I make that money? All right. So the first thing I did was I had NRS. So we're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about how the, the money is distributed to you each month and how much money I was making. Okay. So NRS pays every week. So if you work for NRS, you know that each week at the end of the week, you'll get paid for what you did two weeks prior. So once you've been on for two weeks, you'll start getting every week at the end of the week. So I was getting paid every week for NRS, okay? Millennium, for those of you who work for Millennium, you know Millennium pays, I think it's on the 15th and on the 30th, or is it on the 10th? It's twice a month, okay? You get paid twice a month through Millennium. And then the third company that I told you guys I'll let you in on later, which is the in the inspection company for the construction work, they pay every week. Now, I was under the impression that it would be every two weeks, but they fooled me. Every now and then, I would get a, a text message that says, look who got paid. And I'm like, wait, hold up. Hmm. Who got paid? Again? By who? What? So then I had to realize, okay, did you, you had it all wrong. You need to go back to your paperwork over here. You need to update your system and let yourself know that this third new company pays every week. So I get paid every week for the third company. Okay, so now that we understand, once a week for NRS, every two weeks for Millennium, and once a week for the new company. Okay, so I'm going to tell you when the new company popped in, and then you'll understand how the money started to grow from that point. All right, so February the 1st, NRS paid me $703.75, okay? On February the 8th, this is the next week, NRS paid me again $576, okay? Remember now, if you've been following me, you already knew that I was making like $500 a week, as long as I was working through NRS and, and if they had workload for me, that's what I was making anyway. So you already know it was like around 500 a week. Okay. So February the 1st, 703.75. February the 8th, the next following week was 576. Okay. So then on that same week, on the 9th, the very next day was when Millennium's check kicked in and it was for $497.55. And then, now we're going into the next week. So the next week is NRS, again, because they're every week, $367.25. And then my construction company for the very first paycheck was for $340. And I know you're saying construction $340, dude, boo, huh, I made three stops. So yes, $340. Okay. So then the next week on the 21st, which was, yeah, the 21st, I want to say it was the Wednesday. Okay, anyway, the next week on the 21st, my construction company again paid me $333. And then on the 22nd, the very next day after, because NRS pays every week too, they paid me $617. So now by now, Millennium, their second week pay has kicked in. And they paid me on the same day that I made the $617, they paid me $408. Then the next following week, the construction company, again on the 28th, paid me $404 even. Then the very next day, because NRS pays every single week, they paid me $411.75 plus 
an extra that I did for the third party that they asked me to do, which was 50, which brought their total of that week to $461.75. So that is a total from February the 1st all the way through February the 29th of three different contracts, a total of $4,708.40. And did I work hard? No, I did not. As a matter of fact, the hardest part about all of this is making the appointments. And you know, I know you're saying, how is making an appointment hard? Because when you call, no one answers. That's why. Every now and then you're gonna get them to answer if you have an appointment, okay? And if they and if they answer, then you know you can you can tell them what you want. And if they are really super nice and they've heard about it and they don't care, they're gonna make an appointment immediately. Then you're gonna have those that say, Well, I got to call my insurance company. And then you got those who are not gonna respond at all, and you got to call the agency before it's over to get them to do it before you what? Their insurance end up being canceled. So yeah. You have to go through these types of things. But it wasn't that hard for me this time. And why was it not? Because remember now, Millennium, let's talk about Millennium. They pay me one, two times because it's twice a month. Millennium paid me two times. And Millennium, they uh, are not appointment based. They are roll up, roll out, next house, right? So being that they pay every two weeks, and you know you got two weeks to get the first set of work in, then you can easily set it within your schedule to just run out and get those those uh, houses done. So what I do is I just throw them in the mix of whatever I got going on for appointments. And as long as it's in that route and it's not taking me and it's not going to burn my gas and make me put miles on my car because I'm very strategic <laughs> when it comes to my inspector. I don't play no games. But anyway, since they only paid me every two weeks, it still didn't matter because they would just once again drive by appoint, drive by with no appointments. Okay, NRS does require appointments, but all of them are not appointments. So I have out of out of 20, I may have nine that are not appointments. The rest of them are gonna be appointments, but those people for the homes, the, most of the times it's not a it's not that big of a deal when it comes to making their appointments. The only things that I had to worry about appointments were were with the new construction job. Okay, that was the real deal because these people they are everywhere and and let me tell you something they they deserve to be. If you running businesses and you are the owners of these big uh, huge apartments and hotels, you deserve to be anywhere in the world you want to be. How did I manage to make enough money? Okay. Once again, the construction came into it. The first set that they paid me for was 340 bucks. I did three. One was $75. It was an apartment. One was $185. It was a hotel. One was 80 bucks and it was an apartment. $340. The second one that they paid me was 333. This one was $80 for an apartment, $88 for another apartment, $75 for an apartment, and $90 for an apartment, total of $333. And you want to know why are all of them so different? And they're all saying apartments. That's because it's based off of the actual insurance company and the policy itself and what they're going to pay you, okay? They're just not going to be the same. All of them are for different uh, companies anyway, and all of the packages are different, so it's all based off of that. The third one, which was the one that they paid me... Give me a second. $404. This one was... The first one was $75, an apartment. The second one was $72, another apartment building. And eighty dollars, another apartment building. Uh, Seventy-five dollars, another apartment building. One of them was uh, one that was messed up, and it ended up not being needed to be done in the first place. So they took it away. But since they had given it to me, they paid me at least twelve bucks for it. <laughs> and then I had another one, which was another uh, condo. I'll make sure I don't say apartment condo, and they paid me ninety bucks for a total of $404. So I did three on one for $300.
for 340. Uh, four on another one for 333. <laughs> that was it. And guess what? I did those in one day. Those appointments was made for one day. Okay, when I got off that day, I had made $340 and I was at home by noon and I had made $340 for the day. The next one was $333 and I had done four. And yes, by noon, I was done for the day. Mm, okay, and then the next one, it was one, two, three, four, five. It was five of them. Two of them was done one day and the other three was done another day. And that was for the $404. So that's how I ended up with a total of $4,708.40 for one month of just field inspections. And your girl did not work hard at all. Okay? You guys know what to do. First, get your book if you don't have it. Second, get you a resume if you don't have it. Third, if you have it, go ahead and go back in there and pay your extra 20 bucks. And let Richard do a email blast for you. And then what you do is, whatever you're doing for a hustle, whatever you're doing for a full-time job, keep doing that until the money starts flowing in. Trust me, be patient. And if you live in an area, let me make sure I say that. Because I know if I still lived where I came from originally, this would not be for me. But if you live in an area where you know Eventually, workload is going to start coming. Be patient and give it time. Look, be patient and give it time. Y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Uh -huh. You know your girl going to be bragging you something else later. You don't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night.